Formatting cells in Microsoft Excel is not limited to bold, italic, underline, and strike a through. There are more functions that you are probably less familiar with. I'll teach you these shortcuts in this video. If you want more of software apps technology like Excel, please click the subscribe button for free. To edit a specific cell, just point to it and click the left mouse button. Above the column letters, you'll see the cell address. Along this row, you will see the active cell content that displays the characters as you type them. Edit a particular cell by pressing Enter, Tab, or any arrow key. To thicken the text in bold, press Ctrl and B. You can also type Ctrl and the number 2 to bolden the font. To italicize the text in slant, press Ctrl and I. You can also type Ctrl and the number 3 to italicize the font. To underline the text with a line below, press Ctrl and U. You can also type Ctrl and the number 4 to underline the font. To strike through a text like crashing it out, press Ctrl and the number 5. To put two decimal places to the right and a comma for every three digits from the decimal point to the left, click the comma icon on the number panel. To increase the number of decimal places, click the icon with three zeros, and a left arrow on the number panel. To decrease the number of decimal places, click the icon with three zeros, and a right arrow on the number panel. Number formatting also works in the same way as currency. To express a number in percentage, select percentage on the drop-down menu in number panel. A percent literally refers to every 100. To express a number in scientific notation, select scientific on the drop-down menu in number panel. It is expressed in Excel using a decimal number between 1 and 10 being multiplied by a power of 10 where base 10 is expressed using the letter e and the number succeeding it as the degree of power. Despite being for numbers, the panel can also be used to format cells into specific dates with the day of the week or times of the day. To enlarge the font, click the increase font size icon beside the font number. To reduce the font, click the decrease font size with a smaller row and a downward triangle. To increase the indention, click the paragraph icon with a right arrow. To decrease the indention, click the paragraph icon with a left arrow. To clear the cell contents, press delete. To form a cell border on its left, click borders beside the underline icon and select left border. To form a cell border on its right, click borders beside the underline icon and select right border. To form a cell border at the top, click borders beside the underline icon and select top border. To form a cell border at the bottom, click borders beside the underline icon and select bottom border. To form a cell border at the top and bottom, click borders beside the underline icon and select top and bottom border. To form a cell border with a thin top and thick bottom, click borders beside the underline icon and select top and thick bottom border. To form a surrounding border for multiple cells, click borders beside the underline icon and select all borders.
To remove all surrounding borders, click borders beside the underline icon then select no border. To fill a cell with color, select the paint can icon in the font panel for the background and the underlined letter for the text. To select everything, press Ctrl and the letter A. To select the entire worksheet, the Ctrl command should be done twice. To duplicate something, click Ctrl and the letter C to select the contents to be copied. And then control with the letter V to paste the contents on vacant cells. To transfer something, click control and the letter X to select the contents to be transferred. And then control with the letter V to paste the contents on vacant cells. To emulate the same format for succeeding cells, click the paintbrush icon on the clipboard panel and then drag along a row or column. To undo an action, click Ctrl and the letter Z. To redo an action, click Ctrl and the letter Y. To get notified for succeeding Microsoft Excel lessons, just hit the notification bell.